Hey everyone, welcome back. Hey, did you know something about this menu? If you actually try to restore a game, you may, you may accidentally delete your game instead, and they don't even give you a confirmation message. Oh man, that's something they should... Uh... Anyway, the point is that I had to... I accidentally deleted my fifth video, so I had to go back to it. Uh, it's no problem, everything should be back to the way it was, so let's continue. Now, I was talking to this Can guy, I, you're the... and let's see, I think I asked him for coffee. How about times. getting me some coffee? No way, enough. Please, please, alright. Yeah, so, is there anything, when he leaves out, is there anything I can... <coughs> well, excuse me. Some people there. are never satisfied. Sorry about that cough. Um, let's see, is there anything I can do here? Can I operate his computer, his telephone? Can I pick up anything here, here? Nope. I have a feeling whatever it's going to be is going to be... Drink it. Something obvious, and I don't see anything particularly obvious Thanks. here. Because he gives a lot, he doesn't give a lot of time. Let's see what else is here. I'm excited can to I see what else I can ask him. What else can I ask you? Uh, let's see, coffee, some I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great. What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got any more ideas for photos for the book? Um, okay, a cop author photo? A cop author photo might be nice. You and me? Together? Why not? Of course, you'll have to try to tone down your masculinity. Ooh. Well, okay. Seems I'll little... call the police photographer. Seems a little, uh... Seems a little sarcastic there. Oh, he has a five o'clock shadow. I never noticed that. Frank, Mostly. come here a minute, would you? Bring your camera. Yeah, check out that five o'clock shadow. I'm <laughs> pretty much like pixelated onto his face. It doesn't look that great. It's just very noticeable now that I'm just noticing it. Okay. What did you need, Detective Mosley? We need a picture, please. And make it a good one, huh, sweetheart? Sure, sweetheart. Say, Chintzy. Was there anything else, Knight? Um, let's see what we got. How about another one? Let's take another one. Christ. Okay. One more. Franks? Ready? Smile. Alright, what is this all about? Okay. Um, anything else? Let's see. Well, how about one with Franks? How about one of me and Officer Franks? Gee, I don't know. Franks? Uh, um... <laughs> Just kidding, Franks. You want to get me fired for sexual harassment night? Well... Yeah, ha ha. Now, is there anything else, or can I let this lady go back to her desk? Okay, what else is there? Uh, check my hair? Hold on a sec while I go check my hair. Good God, night. Make it fast. Um, okay, well this is clearly a, another diversion, but for what? Let me look on the, on her desk. It's an inbox. Gabriel is standing in the library, in the lobby with whatever. It doesn't look interesting. Officer's desk, photocopier, what is this, a temperature gauge? It's in a locked cage, they must be concerned about the budget. Can I use it? Uh, it cannot be op operated. It looks like a pretty good temperature to me. Um, well, whatever the diversion is, I don't know what it is. Would you just get in here? Hurry up, would you? Okay, ready. It's clearly meant to be a diversion Thanks, for something. Uh, let me know when you got it developed. Uh, the photo, that is. Yeah, sure. Uh, 
All right, well, keep questioning Can you. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. Now, I guess he sort of has a five o'clock, but not so much. Is on the sprite. Okay, what else is there? Um. Okay, photographs are talking about actually bringing her in. So what's Do you this? know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah, weird, huh? Yeah. All seven victims had those little marks around. We got all the marks on the file, but we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. Uh, other six patterns. Can I see the other six patterns? Uh, sure. People like that kind of stuff, don't they? Might make the book seem more mysterious. Now go talk to Officer Franks. Tell her I said you could see the file. Man, he's pulling all the steps to get that book done. Have you ever called a hair club for men? I'd rather have no hair than your hair, Knight. Is there really a benefit for insulting So how'd you ever find anything in this office? It looks like ground zero. Hey, I get my job done. I'm a det- What else can no. I do? Eh. Are those new shoes? What are those, hush puppies? <laughs> hey, I'm a- Most Okay, I'm- Yeah, I I'm done insulting him. But I did get a point for going there, so let me see if I can- get those files um let's see what can I do to you can I ask you a few questions ma'am I'm sorry sir but I really have to finish these reports excuse me officer yes there we go what's it like being a policewoman so what's it like being a policewoman the glamour never ceases uh Again? Excuse Yes. You know, that uniform looks great on you. Uh-huh. Is that a compliment, or are you asking to borrow my dress? It's a compliment. It could be Well, you both. just never know around here. Thanks, but I'm married. I, I don't know. Um, keep talking to you. Ex yes. <laughs> Let's be completely sexist. Could you get me some coffee? Are you speaking to me? Why, yes. Wow. Deja leave it to Beaver. I'm the police photographer, sir. You might be able to find someone around here dumb enough to get coffee for you. But guess what? It won't be me. Oh, Wait, I know thanks. someone who... <laughs> anyway. ...who's dumb enough to get me coffee? Alright, well, let's get those files. Excuse me, officer. Yes? Right here. Can you get a file for me? What file would that be? The voodoo murders file? Detective Mosley said I could see it. Really? Well, if he said so. There it is. You can look at it all you want, but don't leave this area with it, okay? And no photocopies either, I'm afraid. Of oh. course. I understand nope. completely. I... I see what's going on. No photocopies, you say. What is this? I think it's this. Yeah, this is the police file. Wait, what does it say? Police file containing the partial patterns from the voodoo murders. The folder is marked with the warning do not or not to leave the police station okay well, I'm clearly gonna leave without leave it yeah leave with it don't leave the office area with that file please yeah I thought as much but wait are you thinking what I'm thinking Don't leave the room with that file, please. Oh, I guess I have to actually give it to her. I'm done. Yeah, thanks. Actually, I should actually look at it first. <laughs> if it's just in case it's not what I think it is. So, wait. Pick this up for a minute. That file. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, I'm going to open these. Ah. Uh,
I don't really see much pattern here. There's a circle here, a circle here, a circle here, a circle here. But there's no circle here. I mean, there's a bunch of squiggly lines. But that's not really a pattern. This one looks this one looks pretty similar to the one I picked up at the crime scene though. But either way, seven does not a hexagon make. So I don't know the pattern, but it's interesting to have it. Alright. But yeah, I think I'm done. we all know. Yeah, thanks. I think we all know what I'm gonna do right here. Okay, just a minute. What was it? Just talk to the photographs. Me? Let's get some photographs I got those done. Photographs you left for me. So you said. Did you think of any other shots for the book? Yes, we need a fifth Let's picture. Let's take another cop off the shot. What for? I don't think we got your best side. Really? Okay. I'll have Franks come in again. Yeah, this is another diversion Franks, puzzle. Come back in here with that camera. But I can definitely notice notice this one. This one isn't as esoteric as the mime with the police car, uh, the police guy. But this one's kind of fun, sir. That clown wants another picture. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. What else could I possibly have to do? Anything else, Knight? Um, I need to check my Hold hair. Hold on a sec while I go check my hair. Good God, Knight. Make it fast. Okay. Let's pick this up. Let me see that file again. Alright. So we just photocopy it, yeah? Just want to check this machine here. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's looking around trying not to look suspicious. Look at that, that's so suspicious the way he's doing it. Also, I guess he doesn't care. He doesn't seem to mind that I used their Photoshop, or photocopier, but whatever. And I'm just gonna put it back here, and let's go back in. Yes, I'm ready to take my picture now. Would you just get in here? Hurry up, would you? Okay, ready. Thanks, huh? Let me know when you got it developed. Uh, <laughs> the photos, that is. Yeah, sure. Well, I can check to see if anything he says scores points, otherwise... Can I ask you? Because I did already. I, I went ahead and ran down the the list. So. What can you tell? I told you, don't worry about that part of it. It's all fake. Wait. I. T okay, that's a default what message. What do you know about the voodoo murders? What else do you want to know? Okay. Oh, nothing. Sure. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Uh, I'm too. Okay, he doesn't want to say what anything. Can you I don't know much except what I... Okay. Caprice Do you have any idea what Cabri Sancar means? Hell no. Is that French? My mother's true enough. He said that last time. Uh, Schottenjäger. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Well, not since the last time you asked. Okay. Himself. Tell me about you. What else? Uh, anything at all? Just tell Remember how we used to play monkey in the middle? You did. That's what he and said last time. Yep. Okay, oh, nothing no. new. Okay, What's status? the status on the voodoo murders case? That you're as filled in as me. Okay, I don't need coffee and I don't Have you ever called the him. hair club for men? This I'd was his first thing, so... Alright. I'll try the coffee one more time. I mean, can I ask you about some? I mean, the photograph was a lot more. How about getting me some coffee? 
No way. Enough is enough. Lee. All right. I mean, the photographs was a lot more noticeable, but is there anything I need to do in here? Some people are never satisfied. All right, so what do we have in here? Also, I guess I could have looked around while he was still in here. Uh, magazines and binders, magazines and binders, magazines and binders. An intercom, how high tech. Can I operate this? Oh. Here. Thanks. They drew so much attention to it that I'm gonna try it and. Can I? If not, then. I think How I'm about getting me ready. Some Walk faster. Oh, uh, there's the intercom. Some people. Okay. Use the intercom. Gabriel wouldn't know what to say. Uh, use the microwave. Doesn't want anything to do microwave. Oh. And I already tried to do the phone, the computer. Mm. So if there's a file, then it's very thanks esoteric. So I think I'm gonna head out. Well, and hey, I'll be chat. Speaking of esoteric, thank you uh, for those. A uh, few items. Let's see. So apparently there's a couple things that seem uh, that I missed. It's humid out there. Made it back though. Oh joy. A few things that I missed, but I can go in and do that. Let's see. The first on the list is hair gel in the bathroom. I really so. got to get. Medicine cabinet contains a few old prescriptions, personal hygiene stuff, and lots of hair products, including hair gel. So, which one is it? Um, <laughs> I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you'll need a touch-up. I guess. That was a little esoteric to me, but whatever. Um, can I look at it? I mean, that's what I'm... Fru-fru hair gel. This, I mean, but that's what I'm afraid of, you know, of this, of this kind of game. I'm afraid of, like, really, really, really small stuff and not noticing. Let's see. Two things to do... Two things to do with the murder scene, but... Frankly, in retrospect... In retrospect, I should have considered that, you know... It's a crime scene, I should have spent more time looking instead of just getting the symbol and leaving. Um, so one thing was, what? Grass at the lake. So I guess that's talking about that, so let's get my magnifying glass. And look around. It's very large grass. It's very large grass. There are marks here in the grass, as though some heavy wire object have had been set here. Uh, there's a little thing here. Hold on. Can I get the tweezers and get it? There we go. Gabriel carefully uses tweezers to pull out the uh, small iridescent scale. I think it's a snake scale, but it beats the hell out of me. What kind? Cool. Looks like this. Gabriel is carrying a scale that he fell on, uh, he found near the crime scene at Lake something. Uh, let's see, and mud on the shore. Okay. Get out that magnifying glass, and the lake is polluted enough. Nothing is worth magnifying in that particular location. Lake is polluted enough. Like polluted enough, like it's polluted, like it's polluted. doesn't need to use that on the clay blank uh clay banks. Okay, maybe I can just grab mm. some. Is that clay? Yuck. 
Okay. So let's see. And the last thing was... Oh yeah, there's a collar. Where the, I got the shirt, apparently, for the priest, so... Let me go back there. There we go. See, it, yeah, it's all this pixel-perfect stuff that makes me so afraid to play this game without, you know, hints. Um, so let's see, look around. So where would I find collars? The closet shelves are stacked with odds and ends uh, of a saintly life. In other words, nothing Gabriel is familiar with. Same thing. Same thing. It's a box of white priest collars in the closet. Okay. Well, uh, you never know when a priest's collar will come in handy. What's this? Is this the mud? I guess I forgot to look at it. Gabriel is carrying a lump of clay from the from the banks of that place. Whew. I have a lot of raw items in my inventory. Oh, okay, the shirt combined with this, didn't it? Gabriel is carrying a priest's shirt and collar, which, surprise, surprise, does not belong to him. Well, there's a lot of stuff that I own that I that doesn't really belong to me. Though I guess most of it does. Actually, all of it does, except for this brick, I guess. So. <laughs> I remembered that, um... No, I don't want to be here. I tried this, the other thing, you know, if I could ask him questions, but he wouldn't do any questions, I tried that off screen. Uh, the other thing, um, that I Lucy, thought was interesting, uh -huh. oh joy! When I was throwing items at Grace, let's see, it was the pre, it was the, it was the priest shirt that I remember. Like to um, make a confession, Grace. Whatever you're planning to do with that, Gabriel, I don't want to know. Let's see if I can throw some of the new stuff I've gotten. Do you know anything about- No. No. That's her default, that she doesn't know anything about it. Do you know- No. Uh. Huh. I wonder if she'll say something here. Do you know any- Yeah. Oh. Her first, his first message didn't do anything, so... Do you know anything about this? Yeah. You should cut that mop of yours and throw that stuff away. Never. Alright. I've done so much stuff, can you get... Got a minute, Grace? Now? What's up? Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Yeah, I would like some research on Geta. What, Malia get a? I might call her Malia because that's an easier way to say, or, or that's an easier name Could to say. Could you see what you can find out about a woman named Malia Getty? Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. What's your interest in her? Oh, just, you know, stuff about the voodoo murders. If you could get an address... Mm-hmm. They're murders. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? Okay, well, that's good. I can get her to work and... I can't think of anything. Okay. Where else could I go? I could try to go back to, um... Let's see. Oh, snakes. This is new, isn't it? Do you know anything about snakes? Doing a family tree, Gabriel? Very funny. I mean, real snakes. You know, scaly, cold-blooded. I would have thought you'd find them empathetic. Mm-hmm. I know very little about reptiles of any kind, and prefer to keep it that way. I think there's a book on snakes around here somewhere, though. Okay, thanks. Maybe that wasn't new. I might have to check some other people. Well... So... Oh! <sighs> it's, it's about time closing to... time. 
So it is. Okay, well you. Good night, Gracie. All right. Well, I guess I'll just let Good her night, go. Good Gabriel. And, uh, and try then... not to dream, okay? I think I'll go to the Dixieland store. Because if there's anyone who knows about snakes, I think that would be. Or the voodoo shop. All right, let's go. Oh, what? It's a cutscene. Oh, it is a cutscene. Unless my game crashed. Yeah, here we go. Oh, is it this again? Let's see. So that must. Uh, I still don't know who that is. Nor that. Oh, oh, is that Mo Wait, that was Malia, wasn't it? And she turned into a leopard. I think that's Malia. She's the only woman I've seen who looks like that so far. So who's that then? Let's see, an old guy? I haven't seen any old guys unless it's... Uh, Grandfather Knight or something like that. But I think that woman was Malia, day two. No. A mask I wore as I approached. I was what I am not. And though the pattern was unclear, its meaning could be bought. Well, I hope I didn't miss anything on day on day one. I didn't realize that ended the day. Good morning. Don't you look swell today? Actually, swollen. Oh. So have some. There's a fresh pot on the table. Seriously, you look like hell. Your hair is sticking straight up like a... Oh. It always does that. Never mind. Ha uh, ha. Uh. Did you dream about the fire and the hang guy and that lion thing last night? Leopard, not lion. Did you get anything on Malia Getty? Well, I did get her address, but you're a little out of your league here, big fella. The Gettys own three local hospitals, just to name a few of their assets. They run in very high circles. Did you get an address? I got the address. I suppose this has nothing to do with the fact that Malia Getty is incredibly gorgeous. I should have known you wouldn't go for a rich, ugly socialite. And that address is... Hey! Far be it from me to postpone your total humiliation. It's 557 West England. That's a garden district, a state city. That's all I wanted to know, and yes, my dear. Malia Getty is the most dangerous looking diversion I've ever seen. Ow! Uh, foreshadowing? <laughs> Oi, men. Wow, I got points just for doing a cutscene. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna go to her place. Uh, the person in the voodoo shop said that Dr. John would be in today. So, I'm going to read the paper first. Tynes Piketty, uh, dated June 19, uh, 19, 1993. A front, a front page article describes the most recent of the voodoo murders. Gabriel scans it, but learns nothing new. The article reiterates that the voodoo aspect of the crimes is fake. Uh, Gabriel shivers. It looks real enough to him. Elsewhere, there's an article about, him, about the history of Jackson Square. Guess I'll be going there. Called uh, La Plaza Dormus. Under French rule, it was uh, called for executions, firing squads, hangings, and impalement and breaking on the wheel. Yikes! Of course, those day uh, these days, it's mo mostly just a, a hangout for hippies and hippies and hippies. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius hor horoscope for the day. Chances of a dark star rising on this day. Do not trust your instincts. I feel a dark star rising, all right. Oof. Was that your best take? All right, well, day two. I hope that I did everything I needed to do on day one. So, uh, all right. I guess this is a as good a time as any to 
stop. My goals will be to go to um, the estate, like Mal uh, Malia's place, uh, Dr. John's the voodoo shop place, and Jackson Square. So, until then, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for following me, and thanks for all the support you've given. And I hope that I'll uh, continue to... Gosh, I've got a decent amount of points, I think. And I'll see you in the next episode.